Okay, guys, we're looking here at the DeWalt DWS 780. Picked up this saw here because, uh, well, I just needed to be able to do some bigger cross cuts. And I had been using this little 20 volt miter. And man, I love this thing. I feel bad putting it on the floor here. But one of the things I really loved about this saw is that when you uh, pull the trigger, the light came on. Now, the light system on this saw is not an XPS system so you can't really use the shadow of the blade for a cut there so I was really excited about this uh, system here now the drawback to this system is that let me show you what I don't like about it and that is when you come up to the saw if you want the light to come on you have to turn the switch on and then later on you, you know, make your cut you walk away and then you forget and the next day you come out here and you realize your light was left on so I decided to Kind of modify this and so what i did i'm going to show you what i did here i uh put my own little momentary switch in here so what happens is come up to the saw i press this button here we go and the light comes on and what's happened here is this this light is wired into the into the guts here i'm not going to get into the details goes along um that uh, circuit, when I close it, when I hit that momentary switch, goes into this board. Now, this board is a board you can get on Amazon. It's called the ELK960. That board is amazing. You can do all sorts of things with it. But one thing you can do is you can have a switch trigger it. And so when I hit that switch, it triggered this. And that's feeding power into the light. And that's going to stay on anywhere between 0 and 60 seconds. So I have you have the option of... of choosing anything between 0 and 60 seconds or you can go 0 to 60 minutes or 0 to 60 hours so there's a lot of a lot of freedom there to choose what you want on that board and so now I you know hit that button and you know I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a minute and it should shut off let's see here now I'm only making this video because well I don't know maybe someone else had a similar gripe I, I just don't like have to turn things on and off I'd, I'd like to kind of do it forget about it so um, this is really just to show that it can be done and uh, let's see we should be turning off here real soon there it goes and then I'll also put another <laughs> switch over here on the bottom if I want to override the system I can just cl uh, I can click that there it goes and now I have the light on permanently if I need it to be and then I'll just turn it off and then it's back to normal operation I also put it in position here where when I go to make a cut, I can just reach up here and tap it, and there you go, we've got the light. Anyway, pretty cool. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll make another video if I get a couple of people who are interested in seeing how the wiring was done on this. All right, that's it, guys. Take it easy.